best thing was to have a light car because some of the other cars were really heavy. Mm -hmm. And they probably would have gone really fast if they hadn't been so heavy. And then um, another car, it wasn't very sturdy. And it probably was the fastest car, but it broke apart when somebody caught it. Mm. So it has to be stable and light. So that was one of the things I tried to do this year. With our first problem was our gear ratio was one on one, and that means they're like almost the same. Yeah, I think they're like the same size, and it wouldn't move at all. It was you know, there wasn't enough power to just move it. So after that, we tried a smaller gear. That it's a little better. It's a little, and that, that smaller gear was connected to the motor. It's a little better. It runs, but you know, it's not as it's real slow. Yeah, it's like take your time. Just think, you know, you know, don't. Yeah, I'm sure. Quick, answer. No, no, no. Yeah, no. All right, now this was the question. They want this when the battery it goes real fast. Good. It's kind of what a real car moves like. Come on. It's kind of what a real car. The, the band was too tight. The band was too tight? Yeah. At least four times more than the teeth on this one in order to have enough power to push the car. And what works is you have to try to get the wheel to be stabilized. So, see, mine's move only just a little. And that, this uh, is really tight onto this one, onto this gear. I put oil to reduce the friction. A good start to take it top two. It's a close one. It's good time for the judges. We learned like how to um, figure out gear ratios, and we learned what would be like the what materials were lightest, and, and we learned a lot about like just like which cars went best because all the ones that were really small and light went a lot better, and we, so we learned like a lot about engineering stuff. Um, and it's really different, like from. It was kind of like nice to get a break from regular classes. You have to really kind of know a lot of your subjects to build on this kind of stuff. You know, even if you want to do the more complicated things, like building a car itself, you're going to have to know math and science and stuff like that. Mine was a lot of fun because we each, each other, we learned from our mistakes and everything. Because the gears are from different sets, they don't mesh quite right. But we we fixed it mostly we, we now. We managed to get that to work. And our base here, we, we got we managed to like sandwich um to use a foam board and a plywood, some very thin plywood, to give it some stability. Most people use balsa wood, but this is a lot stronger. See, the bearings are actually in here to help the axle turn, mm -hmm. and the wheels are just bolted to the axle. Right. But uh, up front here, we have the axle solid, and the bearings on the inside of the wheels, which you can't see now because they're covered with washers, and they spin pretty good. They were spinning a lot better before, but we had to uh, sandwich these pretty good because they were really wobbly and we lost a lot of stability. It's a good start. It's a close one. It's a close race. What do we got? Green Green is the winner. Close race. Very good job. Very excited. I'm excited. Good job. Kids who are thinking about um, building these things, that it really, really does help because every everyone who did this learned so much about making cars and stuff, and and like it's just it's like a great project because you get to like see everyone else's, and you get to learn what works and what doesn't. But the, since there's so many different cars, you get to see like almost every kind of thing that works, which is really nice because you just like learn a lot. Home on a beach, uh, which is the pink stuff you can see sort of up there. And put a coat of newspapers and paper mache, and uh, then we painted it. Um, we found the idea from a book. It looked really good. So uh, the base is the chassis is um, balsa wood, and um, it's a friction drive um, front wheel. Yeah. You know, you spend a lot of time with your friends yes. and you learn how to build something, which is the fun part about it. You know, it's just not work, but it's fun just being with your friends. 
and getting ideas to develop something probably that can be used for the future in different ways. You know, kids can learn. Build something. And when you're done, it just feels, you feel happy. It feels good because it's work. It's your work. good because it's, it's hands-on it's not straight from a textbook and it really gets interest from the rest of the class um, people who aren't usually interested in science it really shows that you know girls can do anything yeah. you know just as well as boys can and maybe even better right <laughs> and also um, actually getting out and doing things is lots of fun because I was so surprised that I could actually get a car that actually moved right, right. It was, you know it was great when we actually did but we've worked on it a lot yeah and you know it's better than sitting in a classroom staring at a blackboard yeah okay I tell I tell anybody that wants to do any that wants to build anything like this to definitely go for it. Mm -hmm.